ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರೀಕಾಲ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಹೌ ಟು ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಬೈ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಬೈ ಸೈಕಲ್ ದೆರ್ ವಾಸ್ ನೋ ಎನಿ ಪಾರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಎಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಅನದರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೇಲ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಎನಿ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಏರ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೀತ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪಾಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮಚ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹೌಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡೇ ಬೈ ಡೇ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಡಿ ದಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಬಟ್ ನೌ ಎ ಡೇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಅನದರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದರ್ಸ್ ಅ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫೇಸಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಎ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫೇಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಚಾರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ದ ಚಾರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇ ವಿ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ನಾಯ್ಸಲೆಸ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಲೈಟರ್ ಇನ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಎನಿ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದೀಸ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಕಂಬಷನ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಓವರ್ ಕಮ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ ಎಮರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಇನ್ ಆಟೋಮೇಷನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಯ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇಮ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಓವರ್ ಕಮ್ ಬೈ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಬ್ಯ
the voltage you, you, we cannot get the constant voltage the voltage may not be stabilized the voltage fluctuation takes place maybe instead of 230 voltage it may be sometimes next second there is a 220 or a 260 or a 200 there is a voltage fluctuation that takes place because when all the batteries are put into a charged condition greenhouse gases environmental pollution decrease the life cycle of the transformers we are getting supply from there is a transformer that is placed nearby our home so when all the batteries are put into charging condition there is a heavy load that is applied on the transformer the life of the transformer decreases if the life of the transformer decreases or suddenly the transformer fail to perform you just imagine what is the area that affected by the transformer there is a complete uninterruption there is no power supply the concern authority has to lift the transformer from electric poles we need to replace the windings what is the amount we have to spend what is the time we have to spend so there are some drawbacks that takes place <coughs> what are the advantages of course there are a lot of advantages of electric car no gas required more convenient savings no efficiency more popular safe to drive driving skills not required to drive electric vehicles cost effective low maintenance reduce noise pollution battery life and cost easy driving the disadvantages recharge points initial cost electricity is not free maybe one unit or a two unit we need to pay money from our pocket to the concerning authority longer discharge time once the battery discharges we need to spend at least one hour or two hours to charge the battery completely silence has a disadvantage of course electric vehicle is a noiseless operation sometimes it leads to a drawback a dangerous wherever there is a noise so the person may be conscious there is a vehicle is coming i have to give a space but sometime it becomes a dangerous normally it is a two seater battery replacement not suitable for cities not suitable in earlier this is small car i am talking about a small vehicle therefore the the electric vehicle that plays a very important role to reduce the carbon Obje objectives these things we have discussed electric vehicle road based on modern electric propulsion consisting of electric machines power electron converter electric energy sources and storage devices electric vehicle is a broad concept including bev hev etc regenerative braking is possible electric vehicle is not only just a car but a new system for our society clean and efficient road transportation ev is an intelligent system which can be integrated with the modern transportation networks electric vehicle design involves the integration of art and engineering art of engineering more advancements are to be done to make them affordable reduction in battery cost along with performance and enhancement that means the life of the battery we increases in case of the battery life is only 2 years again after 2 years we need to spend the money to replace the battery therefore the concerning authority or the research have to be taken place to increase the life of the battery and the concerning authority or the government has to take steps to reduce the cost of a battery by giving a subsidy the main block diagram there is a battery is required there is a motor motor controller motor transmission drive wheels this is a basic structure basic block diagram for any type of electric vehicle either a two wheeler or a three wheeler or any type of vehicle the basic block diagram battery we have to select a battery the selection of battery that depends upon the type of motor the type of motor that depends upon type of vehicle that depends upon the load whether it's a 1 kilowatt or a 2 kilowatt or a 5 kilowatt or a 10 kilowatt motor what is the voltage rating of the matter voltage rating of the battery the voltage rating of the battery that should be synchronized with the voltage rating of a motor for example if the voltage rating of motor is a 48 volts the battery is a 48 volts 
when you give 48 voltage the motor the motor able to run or perform we can expect there is a 100 percent efficiency. Therefore, the selection of battery rating of battery and motor is very important task. To charge a battery we can convert AC supply to DC supply or with the help of a charger we can charge a battery. In case if there is a solar panel automatically we can charge a battery with the help of a solar energy. When the vehicle is in moving condition after some time the battery discharges again in case if we have a surplus battery or extra battery this can be charged with the help of a solar battery. When the battery is completely charged we can replace this battery. As we all know that all electric vehicles have electric motor instead of the IC engine. The vehicle uses large traction battery pack to power the electric motor and must be plugged into charging station or wall outlet to charge. The vehicle emits no exhaust from a 12 pipe and does not contain the typical liquid fuel components. The overall weight of the vehicle that means in case if we design in our college we have designed there is a small vehicle the cost approximately 135 kgs. In case if you go for there is a big car, maybe there is a 5 seater car or there, let us say there is a 7 seater car, the weight increases. When the weight increases, of course, the weight of vehicle is also very important. Before design any type of vehicle, we need to calculate the approximate weight of a vehicle. Because when the weight increases, the rating of motor also increases. When the rating of motor increases, its current rating also increases. When the current rating increases, the size of the battery also increases. When the size increases, the, there is a storage space is required to charge a battery, the store the battery. The battery has a lifetime of uh, about 4 to 6 years. Salient features of electric vehicle, unlike the ordinary cars, they have brake. Along with the brake, there is a handbrake in that vehicle that we have designed. It is eco friendly, all electric vehicles are eco friendly, lighter in weight, noiseless operation. A layman can also effectively drive the vehicle, driving skills are not required. With the battery prices reportedly falling from 73 percent since 2010, the electric cars are expected to be as cheap as fuel powered cars in the foreseeable future. In the future, the battery cost may be decreases because the government has to give subsidy. The initial cost of electric vehicle is high because of the battery. When the battery cost decreases, automatically the initial cost decreases, the ordinary person can purchase the electric vehicle. No challenges will stop the electric cars from being popular as it is a lightweight. Nowadays, the popularity of electric vehicle goes on increases another 10 to 15 years or 5 to 10 years, maybe 90 to 95 percent of electric vehicles we can expect on the roadside. EVs are turning into a promising channel towards improving air quality, energy security and economic opportunity. What are the facilities required? Of course, there is a motor irrespective of the kilowatt, a motor drive controller, a battery, a charging unit. Important to charge a battery, so there is a charger required. To drive the motor, there is a battery is required. To control the motor, there is a controller is required. Important parts of any type of electric vehicle, a motor, a controller, a battery, a charging unit. <coughs> Reduction gearbox, body suspension, steering seat, wheels. So, this is a vehicle we have designed recently. Approximately there is 70 kilometers we can cover if we charge a battery once. To charge a battery, approximately there is a one unit of electricity it consumes. Of course, electricity is not free we need to pay some amount approximate cost there is a 5 rupees. If we spend 5 rupees we can cover minimum there is a 70 kilometer. 
here I am comparing electric vehicle to the combustion vehicle. In the combustion vehicle if we cover 70 kilometer what is the amount we have to spend? So, that is the difference between the combustion vehicles and electric vehicles. Batteries for hybrid and plug in electric vehicles why lithium ion batteries are used? In the last classes I clearly explained the role of a battery. Of course, the battery available in the market of a lead acid battery lithium ion battery. Due to its high cost most of the people they have opted only for a lead acid battery. The lead acid battery of course, the cost is low as compared to lithium ion, but there is a heavy weight. There are heavy cells that are placed inside the battery therefore, the cost increases. The, the, the weight increases. When the weight increases, the output of the performance of vehicle decreases. The battery may discharges very quickly. The alternate solution go for or replace the lead acid battery by lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries that is a more popular day by day the increase of lithium ion batteries are replaced by lead acid batteries increases. Why do we need lithium ion batteries? Because of its more popularity, the efficiency, lighter in weight, longer life. Lithium is a beneficial to cells for three reasons. First, since it rapidly releases its outermost electron, it is a pretty reactive making it simple to get power flow through a cell. The power can easily, the current can easily flow from one end to other end freely. Secondly, lithium is considerably lighter than other elements utilized in, in cells such as a lead, lead necessary for small devices such as phones and cars with the several batteries. Finally, lithium ions and electrons quickly move back into negative electrodes. The lithium ion batteries can get recharged. Yeah, heuristic technology of lithium ion batteries, portable electric devices have traditionally been the principal consumer for lithium ion batteries, but demand for lithium ion batteries in transporters has been rapidly increasing. In olden days, maybe 3 to 4 years back, only the lead acid batteries are occupying the market. Nowadays, it is replaced by the lithium ion batteries because of its most popular, because of the reasons lighter in weight longer life, the current can easily flow or the power can easily flow from one end to other end. Again charging, the charging of electric vehicles, this a task is the toughest task because we need to move from one end to other end. In case if there are no charging stations, it will interrupt our work. We need to find out suitable method to charge our batteries. That is important task or challenging task to charge our batteries. What are the different methods that are used to charge our batteries? Store electrical energy. Differences between the IC engine vehicles and the electric vehicles. Configuration of electric vehicles just before we have discussed the important part of any type of electric vehicle, either a small electric vehicle or a big or a moderate electric vehicle. The important parts are battery charger, a battery, a controller and there is a motor. Here is a complete block diagram that means, how we are going to get electrical energy to charge the battery. In case if there is a generator, the generator in the generator that gives AC supply that AC can be converted to DC with the help of the rectifier. Again there is a DC DC converter the battery can be charged. Again the battery whenever we need we need to get supply from the battery to the motor controller again the output of motor controller that connect to the motor. There is a charger is required to charge a battery. Here the electric propulsion subsystem is comprised vehicle controller, the power electronic converter, the electric motor, mechanical transmission, driving wheels. 
the energy source of system that involves the energy source, the energy management, the energy refueling unit. The energy refueling unit that means we refueling we need to charge. When the vehicle is switched on the battery is able to give supply to the motor. When the motor starts rotating continuously the battery discharges again we need to refuel just like a, a petrol tank vehicles. We need to fill the petrol but here we need to recharge a batteries. <coughs> The complete block diagram just before we have discussed the block diagrams, the auxiliary subsystem, the power steering unit, auxiliary supply unit. Auxiliary supply unit means how we are going to get supply to the various accessories in the electric vehicle. Maybe there is a tail lamp, head lamp, there is a horn, side lamps that require a supply. Maybe the motor that is used in the electric vehicle, let us say there is a 48 volts. But 48 volts are not required for all the electric accessories. Maybe headlamp, let us say there is a 12 voltage, side lamp may be 12 voltage. So, the complete system that we can call as auxiliary subsystems. Again, design the proper motor, power rating, transmission parameters. Again, the electric motor, after selecting electric motor, we know that we have studied. When the load increases, the power increases. When the power increases, the speed decreases, but the torque of the vehicle increases. And the basis of the power versus the torque characteristic or speed versus torque characteristic, we can able to find out the performance of electric vehicle. When the load increases, the speed of the machine decreases, but the torque increases. The output of the machine also varies. With the help of this curve, the output that varies during starting at the constant output when you move the vehicle at a constant speed. When the speed increases, the output of the machine that varies. Here this is a tractive effort with the help of this equation, the vehicle speed V is equal to phi nm rd 30 ig i naught. So, Tm and nm are the motor torque output and speed in rpm, ig is the gear ratio of transmission i naught is the gear ratio of final drive, rd is the radius of the drive wheels. When the radius varies, the distance varies, the output of machine varies. Basic vehicle performance that includes maximum cruising speed, gradability, acceleration. Again, just before we have discussed the curve that depends upon the speed, when the speed varies, <coughs> the output of the machine also varies. Track to effort in normal driving, during normal driving conditions of the electric vehicle, the maximum capabilities are rarely considered. During most of the operating time, the power train operates with the partial load. When the load varies, the performance varies. During traffic areas, there are thick populated areas. So, we keep on vary the speed, when you vary the speed automatically the output of the machine also varies, the performance of the machine varies, the battery discharges very quickly. City and highway traffic conditions vary significantly based on the mission of the vehicle such as universal passenger car, vehicles with the regular operation routes and schedules. It is difficult to describe the tractive effort and vehicle speed variations in all actual traffic environment. When the traffic varies, automatically the performance varies. However, some, re some representative drive cycles have been developed to emulate the typical traffic environments. So, these are the curves that represents maybe depends upon the populated area, how we are going to operate, how we are going to apply the brake, when the speed varies, that depends upon the speed of the vehicle, output of the vehicle, that depends upon the traffic or populated area. Concept of hybrid electric drive trains, conventional vehicles with internal combustion engine provide good performance and long operating range by utilizing the high energy density, advantages of petroleum fuels. They have the disadvantages of poor fuel economy 
and environmental pollution. Just before we have discussed poor economy, poor environmental pollution. Poor environmental means when the vehicle starts rotating. For example, if you put a 1 litre, it has to cover at least there is a 20 kilometer or a 30 kilometer. But after some time, maybe 2 months or 3 months, the performance of the machine, the efficiency of the motor that decreases, the losses in the battery that increases. If you put a 1 litre of fuel instead of 20 kilometers, so it completes only the 15 kilometers. So, poor economical condition, the performance of the machine decreases. Battery powered electric vehicles on the other hand possess some advantages over conventional IC engines. High energy efficiency and zero environmental pollution. As compared to the IC engines, the pollution is very high, but here pollution less vehicle, very small amount of pollution, completely you cannot say that there is zero percent, but there is small variation, small amount of pollution by electric vehicles, but is a negligible amount of pollution contributed by electric vehicles. High energy efficiency, high energy efficiency, that means the efficiency of the battery, we can expect there is 85 percent or a 90 percent. 80 percent or 95 percent means if we charge a battery once, the vehicle we can drive a, let us say 70 kilometers. After some time, instead of 70 may be 60 kilometers, when we cover 60 kilometers, the battery is completely discharges. That is a low efficiency. It leads to what are the reasons for low efficiency? Number one, there is a overcharging conditions may be low charging conditions, wrongly maintenance of a battery. The motor, there is a frequent maintenance is required for a motor. In case, if it is a DC motor, we need to maintain properly. The armature has to, the armature field or rotating part has to rotate freely because it is placed between the two bearings. After some time, the bearings may not to allow to rotate the rotating device freely, maybe due to worn out of bearings, we need to recondition the bearing, remove the bearings, cleaned by petroleum products, again we have to replace. In case if the bearings are not suitable to repair, we have to replace by a new one. The motor has to allow to rotate freely, then only we can expect the 100 percent or 70 kilometers. Otherwise, maybe there is 60 kilometer or 50 kilometer, the battery discharges. Electric power train is required to develop sufficient power to meet the demands of vehicle performance, carry sufficient energy on board to support vehicle driving in the given range, demonstrate high efficiency, emit few environmental pollutants. A vehicle that has two or more energy sources and energy converters is called a hybrid electric vehicle. Maybe hybrid electric vehicle, in case in one source, we cannot completely depend upon one charging device. If we get more than one source to charge a battery, such a system we can call it as a hybrid electric vehicle. Maybe sometimes there is a combustion vehicle. Maybe there is electric with the help of a battery or the battery can be charged with the help of a solar energy. There are two sources. There is a charging, the source, we need to regulate again the battery, the battery to the motor. Again another source, the same, the voltage, we need to stabilize. If it is a AC, we need to convert AC to DC, then there is a DC DC converter. A DC DC converter, the auxiliary supply voltage is required, we need to vary the voltage, we need to get the different voltage or tappings to operate or to get the supply to the lighting devices. One charging device, here you just observe here, energy source 1, energy converter 1 energy source to energy convert to in the hybrid electric vehicle. 
there is a one source here there is a one source here there is another source finally there is a motor we are giving supply to the motor here this is a motor this is the motor the motor starts rotating here there is a load the load means there is a wheels when the motor starts rotating automatically the wheels starts rotating here this is one source to getting supply this is another source to getting supply finally we can give supply wherever we required maybe during starting we can get supply from this side when it completely discharges we can get supply from this side next one again patterns of hybrid electric vehicle train operation the load power the steady steady power and there is a dynamic power in case if there is a constant power there is a constant power if the power varies constant power is nothing but the steady power or average power if there is a variable power there is a dynamic power dynamic power that represents power that fluctuates with respect to the vehicle operation this is power has a zero average power trains such as an electric motor can be used to supply the dynamic power series of hybrid electric vehicles next one parallel hybrid electric drive trains there is a fuel tank here there is a engine there is a mechanical coupling mechanical transmission so it starts rotating again there is a battery charger when the battery is discharge condition there is a battery motor controller battery charger battery charger to ba battery again there is a motor controller motor controller to there is a mechanical coupling system electric vehicle technologies energy storage requirements these things we need to discuss the modeling of battery the types of fuel cells what are the various charging devices energy storage requirement energy storage is also one of the important topic in batteries that means how to charge a battery how to store electric energy we know that ac supply ac uh, alternating sources cannot be stored only the dc power can be stored how to store what are the various devices to store a dc supply when you store dc supply then only we are able to give supply to the motor energy storage large enough to ensure a desired driving range input power capability that is high enough to give good acceleration that means a constant speed we can vary the speed good regenerative braking for achieving high energy efficiency like that long enough to meet the general standard of automotive component life durability against environmental demands here a battery cell structure just before we have discussed the battery in the module 1 after completion module 1 the module 2 the battery the structure of battery what are the various devices that are used in the battery what are the cells what are the names of the cells what are the different types of batteries that we have to discuss here there is a one is a anode other is a cathode the current flows from anode to cathode when the load is connected outside the circuit the current flows from anode to cathode outside the circuit and cathode to anode inside the circuit the, ele the electro electrolyte is the medium that permits ionic condition that means the current it allow to flow a current through it easily from anode to cathode outside the circuit and cathode to anode inside the circuit it has allowed to flow a current freely from one end to other end here this is a basic structure of any type of a battery one is anode other is a cathode electrodes there are two electrodes one is anode other is a cathode the current flows from anode to cathode outside the circuit and cathode to anode inside the circuit charging of a battery when an external dc source is applied to the battery the negative term of the dc source is connected to the negative 
here let us say there is a battery charger that is connected to your battery positive of battery charger connected to the positive terminal or anode of a battery and negative terminal of charger connected to negative of the battery at the time the current flows from the current flows from the negative to positive inside the circuit here there is a simple circuit there is a battery of e voltage there is a resistance internal resistance ri is the internal resistance this is the internal resistance here rl that is the load resistance load resistance means what is the load we have connected maybe there is a bulb there is a 12 voltage in case of the battery is a 12 voltage there is a 12 voltage bulb of wattage maybe 10 watt wattage or a 20 or a 30 wattage that is a load resistance in series with there is a internal resistance is connected internal resistance the battery internal voltage ev ev this is the internal voltage appears at the battery terminals as open circuit voltage when there is no load connected to it when there is no load you just imagine only there is a battery when you measure the voltage the voltmeter that indicates some voltage for example there is a 12 voltage when the voltmeter is connected across the battery it measures a 12 voltage that voltage we can call it as a open circuit voltage because we have not connected any load across that after connecting a load or after connecting a bulb again measure the voltage that voltage we can call it as a load voltage here the load voltage is always lesser than that of a no load voltage or a terminal voltage here the current is restricted by the internal resistance the internal voltage of the open circuit voltage depends on the state of charge of the battery whether the battery is completely charged or not temperature and fast discharging charging history among other factors that means the life of the battery after 2 years or 3 years we cannot expect the same charge the same level of the battery the efficiency of the battery battery terminal voltage is the voltage available at the terminals when a load is connected to the battery after connecting a load to the battery measure the voltage that voltage we can call it as a load voltage or a terminal voltage here the terminal voltage is at its full charge voltage when the battery is fully charged therefore the terminal voltage is always lesser than the open circuit voltage or emf we can call it as emf v is always lesser than the emf or v is equal to ev minus ira ira yeah, ira means there is some drop that takes place because of the internal resistance some voltage for example the resistance there is a 10 ohm resistance if the current flows 1 ampere 1 into 10 there is a 10 voltage drop in case if the resistance is there is a 10 ohm resistance the current is a 0 0.1 0.1 into 10 let us say there is a 1 voltage drop 1 voltage drop takes place because of the internal resistance vt terminal voltage is equal to ev emf minus irf internal voltage just before we discussed what is the difference between internal voltage and the terminal voltage battery capacity it determines for number of hours for which the battery can be discharged at a constant current at a definite cutout of voltage for example there is a 12 voltage 10 ampere 12 voltage 10 ampere in case if we connect a 12 voltage 1 ampere 1 ampere continuously there is a 10 10 hours we can connect if there is a 10 ampere load maybe 1 hour when the load varies voltage of the load same when the current rating varies the duration also varies 10 ampere hour that means 1 ampere if you connect a 1 ampere there is a load is connected it draws a 1 ampere current continuously it able to supply there is a 10 hour in case if the current is a 2 ampere maybe 5 hours if the current is 10 ampere maybe 1 hour the battery completely discharges we know that a coulomb is 1 ampere in 1 second 1 ampere is 600 seconds 
the capacity of any battery depends upon the ambient temperature the age of the battery the discharge rate if the discharge that means discharge rate means if there is a heavy load is applied 10 ampere rating of the battery 10 ampere if the load is a 10 ampere within one hour it discharges if there is a heavy temperature again it discharges again if the life of the battery increases if the life of the battery were 2 years or 3 years again it may discharges very quickly here battery capacity if the battery is rated with a capacity of 20 ampere hour then the battery can deliver 20, try to understand 20 ampere hour if we connect only 1 ampere load continuously it able to supply a 20 hours in case 2 ampere if the load is increased from 1 ampere to 2 ampere when the load increases the duration also decreases modlu 20 hours bartittu iga only 10 hours in case current 2 ampere idu 5 ampere madidvi the duration decreases here 1 into 20 first one 1 into 20 there's a 20 ampere hour second one 2 ampere into 10 20 ampere hour third one 5 into 4 20 again fourth one 10 ampere into 2 hours again 20 again fifth one 20 ampere within a one hour it completely discharges if the current rating decreases to 0.5 ampere only small load is connected it draws only 0.5 ampere so we can run around 40 hours it able to give supply 40 hours that is the meaning of ampere hour discharge rate the discharge rate 100 ampere hour there is 100 ampere hour load there is a 5 hours there is a 20 ampere again the ratio of discharge 100 ampere hour there is a 0.5 hour there is a 200 ampere that means if the load increases from 20 ampere to 200 ampere what is hour just before 20 ampere idaga 5 5 hour itto 200 ampere load agidaga just 0.5 hour alli complete agi discharge agutte state of charge soc state of charge condition the state of charge represents the present capacity of the battery before connecting battery into the circuit before connecting a battery into the motor we just measure the voltage or measure the specific gravity of the battery so the, that means that is the we can call as a state of charge condition before connecting load either we can measure the voltage or we can specify by measuring the specific gravity so that we can call the state of charge on the basis of state of charge we can say that whether the battery is a good condition good charging condition or not after the battery is discharges completely the specific gravity also decreases maybe 1150 to maybe 950 or 1000 we can say that the battery discharges it gives the ratio of the amount of energy presently stored in the battery to the nominal rated capacity for example if a battery is at 80 percent of state of charge condition with a 500 ampere hour capacity the energy stored available in the battery is 400 ampere hour 80 percent 80 percent of 500 only 400 ampere hour it is it is defined as the ratio of electric energy supplied by a battery to the amount of electrical energy required to return to the state of discharge condition that we can call as energy efficiency and then energy efficiency in the current TV in case if efficiency could be at the other day I'm going to duration in a good day the duration also decreases depth of this discharge depth of discharge when the battery discharges on the basis of previous calculations we can judge when the battery is completely discharges for example there is a 20 ampere hour instead of 1 ampere if you put a complete 20 ampere load within a 1 hour it discharges if there is only 1 ampere there is a 20 ampere the duration we can increases there is a vice versa the depth of discharge is the percentage of battery rated capacity to which a battery is discharged in many types of batteries the fuel energy stored in the battery cannot be withdrawn the depth of discharge of a battery determines the fraction of power that can be withdrawn from the battery what is the fraction 
what is the percentage of power that is drawn from the battery? If the death of discharge of a battery is given by the manufacturer as 25 percent, then only 25 percent of battery capacity can be used by the load. For example, a battery of 500 ampere hour capacity with a death of discharge 20 percent can only provide 500 ampere into 0.2 100 ampere hour. Other than 500 ampere hour and the kotirthane, but on even 20 percent of the mentioned madhare, we can use only 100 ampere hour. In case another 50 hours, 50 percent of the mentioned madhidhare, 500 ampere hour rating into 0.2 that is a 250 ampere hour. See the difference. 20 percent, 50 percent. 20 percent, 100 ampere hour, same battery. 50 percent of the 250 ampere hour. <coughs> battery energy, how to get the energy from the battery. The energy stored in a battery depends upon the voltage and the charge stored. The SI, the SI unit is a joule, but this is an inconveniently small unit and so we use the watt hour instead. Energy is equal to battery voltage into current rating. Energy is equal to kilowatt hour. Energy is equal to power into time. For example, the energy stored in a battery 500 ampere hour capacity with a terminal voltage of 12 voltage. E is equal to 12 into 500 that is equal to 6 kilowatt hour. E is equal to 12 into 500, 6000 watt hour. 6000 watt is nothing but a 6 kilowatt hour. Specific energy. The specific energy of a battery is a measure of how much energy battery contains in comparison to its weight. And it is typically express in watt hour, self discharge rates, battery temperature, heating and cooling needs. When the battery is completely, there is heavy heat produced in the battery, you know, the life of the battery decreases. Therefore, sometimes we need to take some cooling methods to remove the heat produced by the batteries. Battery lifespan, sometimes we can say that the maximum lifespan of the battery may be 5 hours. Maybe there is a three, year, three years it completely discharges, we need to replace. Various factors influences the life cycle of a battery. You could give electric vehicle batteries of a life cycle of 8 years or 160,000 kilometer. Some factors affecting the lifespan of the battery. The manufacturer clearly mentioned the life of the battery may be 6 years or 8 years. But very shorter period the battery discharges, what are the reasons? the purpose of the battery, operating conditions, the depth of battery discharge. So, these are the various batteries available in the market. All are lead acid batteries that means a secondary cells, a secondary battery. Once the battery discharges we can use again and again. So, that is the meaning of a secondary cells. Lithium ion batteries. As compared to a lead acid battery, lithium ion battery, the lighter in weight. For example, if you get a 48 volts, there are 4 batteries we have to connect it in series, whereas a lead acid battery. Just see what is the amount of space required to store a 4 batteries. In case if you go for a lithium battery, we may get a 40 volts, there is a single battery. As compared to a lead acid battery, the space required is very small. When the space required and also lighter in weight as compared to that, for example, it is a 80 kgs in the lead acid, here it may be there is a 45, 40 or 45 kgs. So, when the load decreases, what about the output? The output increases, the efficiency of the machine increases, the discharging rate decreases. Lithium ion batteries are also excellent in retaining energy with a self discharge rate 5 percent per month. When the battery is not in used condition automatically discharges, but here the rate of discharge is very less in a lithium ion batteries. Nickel metal hydride batteries, these are the different types of batteries available in the market. We need to concentrate how to select a battery. What are the drawbacks? What are the differences between these batteries? How to select a battery for a particular application or a particular electric vehicle? That is important task. Nickel metal 
Hydride batteries have a longer life cycle than lithium ion or lead acid batteries. They are also safe and tolerance to abuse. The biggest issues with nickel metal hybrid batteries is their high cost, high self discharge and the fact that they generate significant heat at high temperatures. At high temperatures. Ultra capacitors, one of the storage device, ultra capacitor is one of the storage device because of the frequent stop go operation of electric vehicles. That means we cannot continuously run the vehicles, sometimes we need to stop the vehicle, again we have to move, we have to stop. The discharging and charging profile of the energy storage is highly varied. When they frequently apply the brake, automatically the discharging rate also increases. The average power required from the energy storage is much lower than the peak power of relatively shorter duration required for acceleration and hill climbing. The ultra capacitor is characterized by much higher specific power but much lower specific energy compared to the chemical batteries. Due to their low specific energy density and the difference upon the voltage and the state of charging condition. It is difficult to use ultra capacitors alone as an energy storage due to the load leveling effect of the ultra capacitors. Modeling of a battery, battery models are useful for battery design, performance evaluation and system simulation of the applicant level. Modeling aids research on device design, construction and materials through understanding the factors that affect the energy conversion process. Models also help research on the performance of the device in the application. The fundamental physical based, physics based theories to access the, micro, the macroscopic behavior. Types of battery models, electric circuit models, again the primary electrochemical activities in the electrochemical cells are governed by two fundamental relationships. One is a butter voltmeter relationships. Faraday's laws of electrolysis. There are two types of Faraday's laws. There are four various types of electric circuit models, basic battery model, runtime battery model, impedance based model, first principle model. Again in the second one, there is empirical models, range prediction with the constant current discharge, range prediction with the power density approach. Fuel cell basic principle and operation just before we have discussed how the current flows from one electrode to other electrode. A fuel cell is an electrochemical device that produces electricity by means of a chemical reaction much like a battery. It was invented by William Grove in the year 1839. The major difference between batteries and fuel cell is that the latter can produce electricity as long as fuel is supplied while batteries produce electricity from stored chemical energy and hence require frequent recharging. Frequent recharging is required in fuel cells. Construction and working of fuel cells. The fuel cell consists of two electrodes dipped into sulfuric acid and aqueous acid electrolyte. Due to oxidation, the fuel molecules are split into protons and electrons at the anode. The cathode is fed with oxygen molecules, these are the fundamentals. Fuel basic, fuel cells basic principle and operation. The protons can flow through the electrolyte, but the electrons cannot insert. The electrons flow from anode to cathode, these things we have discussed just before. Here fuel cells types, what are the different types of fuel cells? Charger carrier, operating temperature, catalyst, cell components, fuel capability. Basic principle of operation, the proton exchange membrane fuel cell, PEMFS, proton exchange membrane fuel cell uses a water based acidic polymer membrane and its electrolyte with the platinum carbon based the structure that shows here there is a anode at the anode there is a hydrogen, there is a 2H plus 2G and there is a cathode. Here hydrogen fuel it is a one of the storage device at the anode where electrons are separated 
from protons on the surface of a platinum based catalyst due to oxidation process. The protons pass through the membrane to the cathode side. So, these things you just before we have discussed how the electrons flow from one end to other end. Again hydrogen is the fuel of low power, so very less power not suitable for a much higher power, very small storage devices. What are the advantages? Highest power density of all the fuel cell classes, good start stop capabilities, instantly we can start and stop the vehicles, low temperature, we have discussed in case if the temperature is very high, if the battery temperature suddenly increases the performance of the battery decreases. Therefore, at most care to be taken to decrease the temperature. What are the disadvantages? Of course, we cannot forget about the disadvantages of the fuel cells. Uses expensive platinum catalyst, polymer membrane and ancillary components are expensive. Active water management is often required. Thank you all.